The metal sodium is a chemical element. It's made only of sodium atoms. The terms atoms and elements are often used interchangeably, but they represent different concepts. Atoms are the smallest unit of matter identified by the number of protons in their nucleus, the atomic number. Carbon atoms have six protons, oxygen atoms have eight, and magnesium atoms have 12. A chemical element is a substance made entirely from one type of atom. So the element magnesium has only magnesium atoms with 12 protons. The element bromine has only bromine atoms with 35 protons. And the element nitrogen has only nitrogen atoms with 7 protons. One way to understand the difference between atoms and elements is to look at a compound like water. Water is made up of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. But each water molecule is made of three atoms, two hydrogen and one oxygen. There are 118 different types of elements, and so 118 different types of atoms, which are organized in the periodic table. At room temperature, most elements exist as solids. Only two are liquids, bromine and mercury, and the rest are gases. But mostly we classify elements as either metals or non-metals based on their general physical and chemical properties. Metals on the left of the periodic table are mostly shiny solids that are good conductors of heat and electricity. Non-metals, with the exception of hydrogen, are on the right of the periodic table. Non-metals are defined by their lack of metallic properties and exist in a variety of forms. Some elements, like boron and silicon, have properties of both metals and non-metals. We call these metalloids or semi-metals. Metalloids sit between the metals and non-metals in the periodic table, following a staggered line called the metalloid staircase. Elements can also be classified as atomic or molecular. Atomic elements have atoms as their base unit, like sodium, mercury and helium. Molecular elements have molecules as their base unit, groups of atoms bonded together, like oxygen, bromine and sulfur. And we often use a subscript on these symbols to show the number of atoms in the molecule. Most elements are atomic, with only 10 being molecular. These seven exist as diatomic molecules, having two atoms in the molecule. And these three exist as polyatomic molecules. So, in this video, we've looked at the difference between the terms atoms and elements. We've explored how elements are classified as either metals, non-metals, or metalloids, and also classifying the elements as either atomic or molecular.